Are you fearful of yourself? <laughs> well, there are some combinations in a chart which tells us you might have fear because of all these combinations. But very big disclaimer before I start, one or two or three of these placements will be there in every other human being that you've seen, all the 7 billion people. So don't just think one placement is sufficient for fear. Now, when I say fear, I don't mean fear in general. You know, everybody has fear. Nobody is free of fear. But when I'm talking of fear, I mean, you know, fear to such an extent that, you know, you are not able to do normal things, you know, like you, you, you have some weird kind of fears, you know, your fears from people or things or situations or places. So if you think that your fear is a bit more than normal, then you need to check these placements in the chart. But before I do that, if you want me to make a video on remedies for fear, then please write down hashtag remedies in the comment section of this video and if there are more than 50 remedies <laughs> hashtags at least five zero then i will make a video on fears okay as usual if you're new don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and pass this to someone who thinks they have some fear all right so what is the first indication yes you guessed it right it has to be and there can be no first without this so the first indication is you have an afflicted moon or a bad moon now what is a bad moon a bad moon can be uh, a debilitated moon or a moon in the enemy sign or with moon moon is with saturn or mars or rahu or ketu uh, could could be you know with the sun also sometimes but in general if moon is badly placed then it shows you are you may not be very much uh, in touch with your emotion. So fear may come because of misjudgment. So you might either exaggerate things or you might you might dismiss things. Okay, so both could cause fear. So if your moon is heavily afflicted or badly afflicted or in a bad dignity, then there could be fear. It can cause you know stress, anxiety. It, it can make you feel like a victim. One of the best indications of a terrible moon is you feel like a victim 24 hours. Okay. <clears throat> Number two, this is ignored, but this is maybe equally or maybe sometimes even more, if not, then equally important, which is you know a bad Lagna Lord, weak Lagna Lord. So again, a Lagna Lord placed in Dustana or uh, in um, debility or enemy sign you know or afflicted see the lagnesh gives direction in life so when the lagna lord is badly placed then it can show that at times you are directionless in life which can give you fear but this is more of like you know self-created fear okay so uh, it can give you lack of confidence lack of assertiveness lack of willpower and because of that you may sometimes feel overwhelmed you know the world is too much to deal with and that is why that gives you fear okay so try to strengthen your Lagna Lord. Try to do remedies to strengthen your Lagna Lord. Number three, very important. Um, this is again ignored, unfortunately, which is a bad fourth house. Now, what is a bad fourth house? A bad fourth house is malefics in the fourth or the fourth Lord in a bad dignity. Now, what does the fourth house do? The fourth house is the house of your comfort, your mental peace. You know, it can be your home. It can be your mother and all these but if the fourth house is badly placed, then what happens? The mother becomes the cause of your distress sometimes. Like we see in the case of Lord Ram, he had an exalted Saturn in the fourth house retrograde. So, you know, stepmother, uh, Kekai said, please move out of Ayodhya and go to the forest for 14 years. And you cannot be the king. Bharat will be the king, right? So that's a classic example. But if your fourth house is very badly placed, then what happens? your security becomes the cause of your distress which is very painful and that makes you very fearful at times okay so fourth house don't don't ignore the fourth house number four is again influence of saturn see who is the karaka for fear you know in astrology the karaka is saturn and rahu so saturn represents the fear of being uh, ignored or deje dejected okay the rahu represents the fear of uh, being cheated Okay, so number four and five is very strong influence of Saturn or Rahu. 
or maybe worst case, both of them. So what, what does Saturn Rahu do actually? So Saturn, he will make you fearful that, you know, somebody will, you know, kick you out of their life. You know, somebody will not give you respect or something like that. So you are always fearful. You are in uh, anxiety and you are in tension all the time. What will happen? What will happen? Somebody will revolt against your authority. Okay. So because of that, you always um, have, you know, insecurity basically. Okay. Because Saturn represents greed and insecurity. And this will be exemplified furthermore. If your Saturn uh, is with Rahu, uh, sorry, with the moon or aspecting the moon or with the ascendant or in the ascendant you know, or with the ascendant Lord or aspecting the ascendant Lord, then these problems can occur. Okay. And number five, as I said, you know, if similar way Rahu is linked. So Rahu represents, you know, hallucination, illusion and all this. So if Rahu is there, it will not just be fear. You know, you will actually believe if, what, what, what your mind is telling you. So Rahu creates fears, illusions and, you know, if it is in the ascendant and uh, if it is conjunct the 8th Lord or 12th Lord, you know, such bizarre placements if it is there. And adding to that, if Moon is also receiving aspect of a bad Rahu, then it it can make you crazy sometimes, okay? It can give you, it can give you hallucination, delusion, illusion, all this, okay? Very difficult. Now, another indication, number 6 is afflicted eighth house so what is the eighth house eighth house is the house of fear so when the eighth house is afflicted you know eighth house afflicted means the eighth house is aspected by either mars saturn or rahu this is the meaning of affliction natural malefics so then what happens is your fears are exemplified so you will always see a person who has an afflicted eighth house they will they will tell you things which you know, I mean, if you don't have an afflicted eighth house, you know that these, these bizarre things which this person is talking will never materialize. <laughs> you know it. But somehow you cannot convince that person because that person has stooped so low in their, you know, world of fear that, you know, they actually believe. They they, they don't just believe. They, they, are, they, they feel that's reality. Okay, this is very unfortunate. So, uh, strong remedies have to be done okay these are like self-created fears okay now the next indication number seven is if you have an afflicted 12th house 12th house or 12th lord okay now what does the 12th house do 12th house gives you loneliness seclusion it gives you like hospitalization and all this you know 12th house is that feeling where you feel everything is gone Eighth house is the feeling that you will lose everything. That is the eighth house. Twelfth house is the feeling that everything is already gone. Have you seen? Have you seen some people? They are fearful. Oh, maybe I will lose this person. You know, I will lose this money, this wealth, or something. But then there are some people who already have so many things, but they feel it's all gone for some reason. You know, it's like they're damaged internally or whatever. So, if the twelfth house is badly placed. You may have hyper fear because you may think everything is finished. That's it because 12th house is endings, right? So therefore, if the 12th house is badly afflicted, then you may be totally convinced that your life is a failure. Okay, So very difficult placement again. Now, number eight, if there are more than two malefics aspecting your prominent planet. So if Mars, Saturn or Mars, Rahu or Saturn, Rahu combined is aspecting either your Lagna, Lagnesh or Sun, Moon, one of the four planets, then life may feel like a curse sometimes because whenever a planet or a house is aspected by two or more malefics, it is said to be under curse. Okay. And especially if Saturn Rahu is involved, so it will be Shrapit Yog. Okay. So because of that, what happens is, uh, if the planets which are receiving this dual aspect or conjunction is either the Lagnesh or Sun Moon, then what happens is, a very important part of you actually feels like life is a curse. And then... Everything makes you fearful, you know, everything is exaggerated, you know, everything is like uh, negative all the time, you know, so this is what you will feel, okay. 
So very strong remedy has to be done, you know, for this. Number nine, this is not very important, but this can be important at a physical level. This can give you high blood pressure, tension and all this. <clears throat> Which is if mercury is afflicted or mercury is badly placed and not just badly placed, but under affliction from Mars also. So, so for example, if, Mar if mercury is with Mars in the 6th, 8th or 12th. So mercury is in a dustana and also with Mars. So it can create hyper anxiety, tension, disorder, ADHD and all this can be there. And also if you know mercury is in 6th, 8th or 12th, but aspected by Mars from anywhere, then this can create issues, you know, nervousness, you know, fearfulness, tension, anxiety. It's more on the anxiety side, you know, it's like anxiety disorders can happen. <laughs> And last but not the least, if there are malefics in the Kendra houses, at least two or more malefics. So which are the malefics? Sun, Mars, Saturn, Rahu, Ketu, these five. So now everybody has five malefics in their chart and they will sit somewhere, right? The malefics has have to sit somewhere. So, but in your Kendra, which is 14710, in this Kendra, if like there are two malefics, Saturn Rahu is there or Saturn Mars or you know, whatever. If it's more, it's even worse because what happens is the Kendras are the pillar. So if there are more than two malefics, then it is highly, highly uh, probable that one Kendra will receive the aspect of two malefics. It, it is possible or it can have two malefics. So then that Kendra will feel like curse. For example, if you have if you have Saturn in Lagna and you have Mars in the fourth, so then what happens? Saturn is aspecting the seventh and Mars is also aspecting the seventh. So now your seventh house might feel like a curse if your seventh lord is badly placed or your Venus is also terrible in the chart. So then, or uh, Saturn in the fourth, Mars in the seventh, both are aspecting the tenth house. Your career can feel like curse. So then it can be specialized or localized fears related to one area of your life, but very daunting fears because Mars shows you are running and Saturn shows you are not advancing. It's like running in the treadmill. treadmill. You are running, running, running. You are in the same place. Neither are you burning calories or nothing is happening. So imagine if one of the pillars of your life, one is your health, the other one is your comfort, the other one is your marriage or the last one is your career. So imagine one of the four feels like a curse, then it's very difficult, right? So therefore, if you have this, then you need to do specific remedies for that particular kendra which is afflicted or affected by two or more malefics, okay? Sometimes there are crazy horoscopes where they have like, you know, four malefics. Sometimes all five malefics are in the kendra, okay? So life is very difficult for such people, provided their Lagnesh is strong, you know, then they can get out of all this, you know, Lagnesh, Sun, Moon, if these are good enough, then even if there are five malefics, you can come out of it, okay? So it's not fatalistic. This, this chart that you have is a representation of your karma of your previous lifetimes. But if you use your karma properly, you do good karma, you can at least uh, become so strong internally that you are not affected by all this, okay? Otherwise, uh, that's it. That's destiny. And if you don't do spiritual practices, it will hold true and you will continue to be miserable. So do spiritual practices and don't forget to write remedies. And please also write what other placements have you seen that gives people fear, anxiety and panic. All right. Thank you so much. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and comment remedies below and subscribe to the channel if you're new and for consultations, you will find my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him for sure. Thank you. And don't be fearful. <laughs>